Sorry we're late, but the uh, snow made the streets almost impassable. Both of us almost got blocked in several times. Hmm. You came in separate cars? Yes. yes. I would have called sooner, except that the phone at the mansion had stopped working. Coffee? Look, as pleasant as this is, we didn't come here to have a cup of coffee, okay? Yes, why are we here? Okay, business. Autumn Clayton has asked me to represent her in a certain financial matter. Autumn? Autumn? What do you have to do with her? Herbert Quartermain had two financial advisors in his last days. Sean Donnelly briefly and myself. I'm the one who guided the famous investment race which catapulted the Quartermain fortune into the billion dollar class. <laughs> Excuse me, my father did all that. Be that as it may. Autumn has asked me to settle certain matters with the two remaining sides of the Quartermain family. What are you talking about, settle? Herbert took us to the cleaners and then died. He might just as well have taken the money with him. I'm listening. Read this. It should explain everything quite thoroughly. I don't believe this. Neither do I. Is this true, what we're reading here? Autumn is going to give me $50 million? She's giving each of you $50 million. What's the catch? None. She knows that Herbert intended you to have it. He simply died before he had a chance to arrange it. You know what? This is not fair. I don't think that Autumn thought this through. You see, she's giving what's-his-name over here $50 million, and then my father and I are going to have to split the $50 million. Greedy to the rotten last, aren't you, Alan? $50 million is all you and your father put into the bet in the first place. You're breaking even. I'm losing a lot more because the entire rest of the fortune should have gone to me. Listen, there wouldn't be any entire fortune if it wasn't for me and my father pushing all her job. All right, drop. hold it. You haven't read the entire document. Check section 12. You have to agree to accept this money without challenge or exception. You may not sue Autumn Clayton or any of her heirs ever for any further portion of the money Herbert left her. You may not quarrel with each other over distribution. Otherwise, this money's going to charity, guys. Charity? You remember Herbert's fascination with cryogenics, the preservation of human remains? Well. Herbert had already donated quite a lot of money to the group that's studying how to keep human bodies until medical science can cure them. My instructions are to give them a call with the good news if you two can't agree. You wouldn't. In a split second. Hmm. This is incredible. Oh, incredible is not the word for it. Don't people know that if they sit around watching television all year long and then all of a sudden try to start shoveling snow, they're going to have a heart attack? We've had 11 of them. I know. It's really been a rough day. Could you come over here and sit down? Alan, I, I am busy. Yes, I know. But you will not be too busy to listen to this. Please, just come over and sit down, what? okay? What? This is incredible. You already said that. Okay. I want you to have a look at this, Monica. As a matter of fact, never mind. It's just a bunch of legal mumbo-jumbo. The bottom line is, is that Autumn Clayton is giving me and Father... Fifty million dollars? This is incredible! Absolutely. It is all the money that we bet on the stock gamble in the first place. All of it. Yeah, but I thought Autumn had left Port Charles for good. She did. She left all of this with Cheryl Stansbury. She left fifty million dollars for us and fifty million for that little rat Quentin to throw away on the bookies. That's a lot of horses, even for Quentin. Wait a minute, this is all about securities and bonds and things. Don't we have this in cash? No, we'll get the cash. Cheryl has to liquidate the assets at the correct moment, and then we get the maximum value for it. Why is this uh, Cheryl person involved? Well, Autumn wanted it that way. I mean, Cheryl was the one who was Herbert's financial advisor. I mean, she certainly did a good job by him, didn't right, she? Right, yeah, she sure did. <laughs> oh, does Edward know about this yet? No, 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 I want to tell it to him in person. Well, they said, my darling, you have to make one thing perfectly clear to that man because he's not going to want you to take the $12 million that you owe HDI out of the bundle. Oh, I absolutely agree with you. Listen, I put the $12 million in the sweepstakes pot and I'm taking it out. <laughs> I don't mind telling you, I was scared. I was scared you were going to go to prison over this. Now, I'm very happy. I gotta tell you, I was so scared I couldn't even breathe. Well. It's all over. All you have to do is go to HDI tomorrow and give them their $12 million in that cloud that has been sitting over your life. will be gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, what? I was just thinking, there must be a way I could get HTI off my back, keep the $12 million, and still not go to jail. What? Alan, you're worse than your father. Yeah. Oh. 